Hey guys, what's up? Today is Outdoor Roads. I'm Matt and today we're gonna go over my hunting setup that I had uh, last year. Um, I used mainly the XOP set and climb ambush tree stand last year and I've made constant modifications throughout the year to make it easier because it was my first year ever tree stand hunting. I grew up uh, hunting using beagles to chase deer and stuff. But, uh, and it was an experience and I had a blast and four bucks down. So if you guys haven't seen those videos, I got them, I got them on my YouTube channel. So I hope you guys enjoy. Be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that alarm button for any future notifications for uh, any future videos that I have put out. But I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'm just going to walk you through my setup and how quick and easy it is and a couple of my additions that I've made. So stay tuned. Okay, so when I approach the tree stand, you know, I just throw her down. And uh, sometimes the straps holds that bag back in, sometimes don't. So I have a carabiner with a paracord that helps just in case that happens. Because it'll happen every now and then. But uh, it's just how I put it back together wrong. But I will go through the steps and show you. Usually this backpack is up here under these carrot, these straps like that. And uh, I'll take the straps off. And then I'll take this carabiner off. And then the backpack's done. And then the only thing holding these two together is the spongy right here. So I'll take the bungee off. Bungee on, and the top comes off. Oh, oh. And I have it with the seats buckled here. And then the top's free, quick and easy. And I'll usually start with the bottom, but what I'll do is uh, these bungees get a little noisy. Either you can just tuck them back here, but they might catch the tree. I'll, I'll pull this up. I'll turn these knobs here, just like that, and I'll pull these up, I'll lock it in the position, so it's nice and quiet, and then I'll run these bungees up and over, just a random hole here, it'll rest against the backpack straps, and uh, now I don't know if you're familiar with the XOP stands, but they have these bands which I really like these bands but they have these turn knobs and you just turn it all the way to the nut and you have to back it out all the way or it won't, it won't open all the way it's just a safety mechanism and then it pulls right out all right let's get it on the tree guys so I usually just rest it like this against my lap and I'll fling it around the tree and then I'll just kind of you can push this up with your pinky slide it right in the tube then you put her in like an upward angle just like that and you tighten it down I, know, I notice if I roll it against my hand it keeps it a little quieter And I'll slide her down the tree. And then we do the armrest. Armrest is the same. We have to take these nuts out. I usually arrest this against the bottom while I'm doing this.
after that, I take these straps, I hook them through the buckles. Make sure. Now to help, I was actually doing all this in the dark last year, so uh, it's actually not as bad as it seems. Let me see if I can get you a better angle. But I usually climb with my backpack, so I'll throw it on, and I tie my bow to a string, a paracord, and I'll tie it to the railing here. Then you just climb up in here. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna raise it up to your butt and you're gonna sit. And then you're gonna raise the feet. And then you're gonna raise it. Just like that, and you're gonna climb just like that. See I have these a little too tight. It's best to loosen these as much as possible so you can get the distance up as much as possible. And then when I'm done, I'll usually lower this bar to about to my just below my knees. So it's easy to step over. I'll sit on it. And then I pull these straps tight, just like that, and then uh, I step over. Usually I have my harness on too, but I'm not very high, so I'm not going to do the harness. So let's raise you up so you can seize the rest. So my harness will be... Uh, about right here, but I'm gonna do it higher this year, just so uh, I can get all my gear on here. First, I'll set my I'll set my back right here. Usually, I'll do my my seat first, but with my new camera mount, I think it's gonna be best to do that first and then do my seat. And here is. Here's my camera mount. This goes right into the backpack, which is really nice. Um, I made this. If you guys are interested on how I made this, it saves you a ton of money instead of spent buying those $200, $300 high power ones. A ton of money. But I will make a video. Just comment below um, if you want to see how I made this bad boy. And uh, I'm really enjoying it. So I'll just have, and I made this out of a kayak rope. So if you guys are interested in how to save some money on making your own straps, just feel free to comment below. Okay, here we go. I'll just throw this around. And I'll usually put this as low as possible. And then, uh, then I'll do the gear strap.
put these where you want them once you get this up here. Then I'll hang my backpack like so. This is why you gotta do the seat after the fact. Because you're gonna have to go low. This is a bigger tree, so it's a little harder. See, we're ready to go. I like it this height so I can sit down and film most of the does and stuff coming in. And then if I need to stand up, I can still see my viewing screen and still shoot my bow. Um, I usually have this bar down, but rifle season, you can put it up in the upright position. But usually this is good to go. One addition I'll do is I'll put my GoPro right up here um, and I'll aim it downward so you can get all that shots out in front of me too for a second angle and me in case this camera messes up I have a backup shot so that's pretty much it I mean it's it's not that bad once you get it in routine I'm slowing it down to help you guys out but you can put this get up in the tree pretty quick with this so Okay, one extra tip with these XOPs. I took the regular bolt out of this because I had an issue with it loosening and the only way to tighten it was with tools so, and it would loosen and just fall like that. So now I put, I installed these, got these from Long Wolf because Long Wolf actually makes the same stands, the same stuff. I put a custom length bolt in here, about I think three inches. And, uh, and then I put this on here so you can loosen, you can tighten. And it's really nice because when you get it in the angle you want for like rifle hunting up and up or down or wherever, you can tighten her down and she ain't going anywhere. If you want, and then I'll use this buckle here for bow hunting, and I'll buckle it in around here so you have seat security, bars not going anywhere, and all that. And then here's my uh, quick little view on my holder, but very cheap very affordable how I made this and I can make a video for you guys if you're interested but yeah backpack hangers my bow is gonna go on this side since I'm right-handed I want to grab it with my left hand and bring it around but all in all it's one of my favorite setups to climb a tree with down here in Florida this is how we do it so I hope you guys enjoy this video any comments or questions put down below I might have missed something because I kind of went through it a little quick I know but uh yeah I really like this setup and I already got big bucks on camera so stay tuned guys I'm hoping to get some awesome videos taken for you guys this season public land here we go let's get her done um I wish everybody else who's hunting already the best of luck ready to go hunting yeah what you gonna what you gonna do when you go hunting shoot deers yep she's got it all right thank you guys for watching see you next time